Because I want you to see the war that we're in. It's Ephesians chapter 2. I'm going to read just three verses. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Our sins separated us from God. Verse 2, where in time past you walked according to the course of this world. Please note that word, world. According to the prince of the power of the ear. Notice that. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and were by nature the children of wrath even as others. Let, let me try and put this another way. Paul was writing to the church in Ephesus. Imagine now he's writing to the church in Luton. He said, you lot in Luton, all of us, not just you, me too. You lot in Luton, you were dead. You were dead in your sins and in your trespasses you were lost you were without hope let's put it another way you were the baddest of the bad and you were condemned there was nothing am i making it straight there was nothing good in you your mindset was wrong your bad mind your behavior was wrong Everything about you was wrong. And he said, you were living according to this world system. The culture of this world had infected you. And you were doing the things of this world system. You were also subject to the devil. And lastly, you were subject to your own flesh. So what was Paul saying? You are in a war. You're in a war because you got the world system, you got the devil, and you got your flesh. Finally, he said, and that made you enemies of God. So when we say that you need to get saved, you're not, we're not trying to get you saved from hell. We're trying to get you saved from the wrath of God. Scripture says it's the anger of God. We, without Jesus Christ, we are enemies of God. It doesn't matter how much you think you are good. Without Jesus Christ, you are God's enemy. There's no gray area. You're either with God or you are against God. You either live for God or you are living in opposition to God. There is no in-between.